Simply stated, the purpose of the Apollo 10 flight is a final test of the men and machines required to do the lunar landing mission. you can tell the world that we have arrived. And they give a silver snoopy for excellence awards. I wanted to honor the people that worked so hard, so we call it Snoopy. But you needed two names, so naturally the other one was Charlie Brown. Amazing what you see. The one thing that always amazed me was the size of the boulders. There were these gigantic craters, and down on the bottom would be boulders, and up on the rim would be boulders. So using the Hasselblad cameras, the high, uh, highest resolution available then, and the radar was going. So radar map, photo mapped, and visually mapped. We are coming down, going upside down and backwards to retrograde. I heard the thrusters start to fire, or just bang, 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 bang. So what I did, the stage switches here, raised the thing, and boom, stage it. In the meanwhile, I went to hard stops, but I got it back under control, and we made the maneuver. Came back and did a perfect run. One thing people always ask, were you frightened, were you scared? The answer is no. We were fighter pilots, test pilots, so we knew what risk were. You did everything you could to mitigate the risk, but there was a risk. And so well, we understood that. Well, we had a, a series of debriefings with them about, because we had all the procedures worked out. In fact, I remember I went to Neil, I says, buddy, here you are, here's all the techniques, all the procedures down to the last 50,000 feet, and you take it there, hard decent on the surface, 50,000 feet up, it's all done. So they just followed all the procedures we had. We made it back from the moon to the earth in 42 hours. It was 24,791 miles an hour, and, or in Mach numbers, Mach 36. Or if you want to be precise scientifically, it was 0.0037% of the speed of light. So we were flat moving. 